it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's Good Friday. So I'm just doing my breakfast on my new fancy scale. So I've got 30 grams of bran plates. I've gone over slightly, but I was hungry, so I thought oh, I'd have to tiny little extra bit. Um, so I've got bran plates. I'm going to put some blueberries in it. I love my scales. They're so good. Right. Are you ready, ladies, for your bran flakes? Right, ready? One. Two. Get them. There you go. So, we need to open and get ready because Ruby's got a little Easter treat. She's going to have her nails done, but she's not having an extension or anything. They're just going to do some like gel polish stuff on them. But appointment is half past 10. We've got to get there, um, get parked and stuff. Don't know how busy it'll be because it's uh, Good Friday. And it's already quarter to nine, so we need to hurry up. So, let's get breakfast. And look at the weather. <laughs> I don't think it's even raining properly. It's just like funny rain. Oh, right, anyway, we need to get ready. Oh, and before I forget, I keep forgetting to do this. My carrot template is roughly... Uh, get my tape measure going. It's about 22 centimetres or 21 centimetres. And it's slightly angled on one side, which I don't think it... Oh, it probably needs to be a bit. So the bottom is about 10 centimetres and the top is about six centimetres if that helps anybody that wants to make a carrot and I literally just cut the material out and then just fold it together roughly she says I can't do it one hundred. fold it roughly together like so and obviously start at the corner and come wider as you go up to the top and that's it very easy i hope somebody makes some of you oh my god i'm running so late i don't know why today has been a morning of faff and just lolling about thinking i'd got plenty of time and now i've got about 10 minutes and i've got to throw my clothes on <laughs> what a rush and it's half 10 appointment it's not like it's really early or anything i don't know why we're running so late but we are anyway so weather as i said it's raining pat peggy and all my little peggy friends me uh positive potato i hope you're doing okay if you probably like me you get stressed about things i mean stressing about bloody daughter's nail appointment is absolutely pathetic um yeah so i hope your mental health is doing okay if you don't want to do anything over easter don't do it remember you can say no if it's good for your mental health uh, remember you are fabulous little bubba happy easter calendar of the day Oh, you make me happy when skies are grey. Yeah, thank you for always being there with me. It means so much. Uh, black cap wisdom. We've got, um, if you don't like the dark side of the moon, stay in the sun. A man is free the moment he believes he is. And if you think your life is bland, then you haven't had added enough flavour. That's right. The only person that makes things change is you. And Chanel. Elegance is refusal. Ooh, very fancy. Right, lipstick of the day. Super fast, I've got chewing gum in my mouth. Oh, right, so lipstick of the day today is Avon Nude Suede. We really need to go. Oh, and I've got my yellow jumper on for Easter. Right, we've made it into the car. Can you guess? It's raining. Oh, why is it always raining? <laughs> it's not supposed to rain today. Anyway, let's go. And here we sharing we're sharing the umbrella hmm now we're 10 minutes early <laughs> so we're just waiting a minute in the doorway Move your fingers about. They're amazing. They're made nails. Oh, there's a dog in this shot and he's so cute. Look at him. I don't think you can see him. Hang on. Oh, he's so beautiful. <laughs> I literally can't believe I can look at the blue sky. It's like we're on a different day. It's absolutely bonkers. Oh, 
they've got the marshmallows. They sold out at Christmas. And they were like an absolute <laughs> fortune. Oh, yeah, it does. It's James in jelly cap form. <laughs> Oh no, it's so cute. Oh, we've got loads of eggs. They're adorable. He just looks like Florence. Oh, so cute. Oh, hello. Shop shop. I thought it would be. What do you mean? Yes. That's such a shame. Hiya, uh, can I have a sausage roll? Do you want a warm one? Or... Have you got the No, she wants a cold one, please. Yes, please. She's trying to kill me. She wants to slow down a bit, doesn't she? Oh. Oh, she lays come on, down. Oh, we've just tried some chocolate brownie in the cake shop. It was free. Oh my gosh, it was so nice. What's that twin thing? It's very pretty. Ooh, That's why I've come back. Okay, so we've given in to temptation. We went back um, and we bought two of the chocolate orange brownie. It was the most beautiful thing we'd ever tasted. <laughs> Look at that doorway. It's magic. Beautiful. <laughs> They're a bit scary. What do you think, Ruby? Scary. <laughs> they might be magic. If we don't stand them there, you'll get dripped on. Yeah, it wasn't like I was making like an Irish exit without like, yeah, it was a little too early. Um, I think a lot of people were, um, you know, too early. Yeah! Wow, we're now making our way back home. I cannot believe how sunny it now is. It's so weird. Ooh, teenager. She's on everyone here. It's lovely to see you, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's make our way home. Um, I think we'll have a chocolate brownie later, shall we? Yeah. Like afternoon coffee or something. It's delicious. Right, we're finally home. It's bang on 12 o'clock. So, I now need to... Oh, no. I thought... Oh, I tipped that up and I thought it had gone everywhere, but it hasn't. Phew. Um, so, now I need to do all my boring jobs that I didn't get a chance to do this morning. I've no idea why we were so late this morning. I'll show you to wash your empty dishwasher, get some dinner, and then I've got a ton of washing. All the things that I ignored yesterday, I've now got to do. Right, Ruby's got this weird thing that she keeps saying that when I lock Dolly outside, Dolly stands there an awful lot. Well, my cat Lily uh, used to sit on that seat thing. She had like a little outdoor bed as well that we'd made her. So she used to sit in that summer house all the time. Um, she died in 2022 and then uh, we painted like the thing on the little summer house for her if you can see the little cat logo and stuff because that was like her favourite place to sit. Now when we let Dolly outside, Dolly often just stands there. Now why would she stand there? Ruby reckons it's because of Lily's ghost. I don't know whether that's true or not but she li literally Stands there for ages. Look. It's so weird, isn't it? Look at that. Why does she stand there? Oh, Winifred. <laughs> she makes me laugh as she hops from one bed to another. Right, so dinner. So it's 25 past 12. So I thought, I'll have my dinner now. Then I can get on with my job. So I've got a cup of coffee. And same dinner as yesterday. So I've got two slices of white Danish with cranberry sauce. And some cooked chicken. Lovely. Right. Ladies, that was so nice. Ruby said, Why are you eating chicken and jam? That looks absolutely disgusting. But it's not, it is so tasty. And it's not jam, it's cranberry sauce stuff, and it is so lovely. Right, are you ready? We've got some leftover chicken. Chick, 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 chicken. Lele leg for me. Chick, 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 chicken. Lele leg for my tea. Chick, chick, no. Chick, 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 chicken. Lele leg for me. <laughs> right, ready? Yes. Marins, uh, Winifred. Oh, darling, there's not much left. Dolly, I've covered you in bits of tickets. It's all on the floor, quick. Dolly, there, quick. Oh, 
you're too slow. Right, Dolly. Yeah, like that then. And don't be nasty to each other. Ooh, is that nice? You had loads, Florence. You were sly, weren't you? Dolly, you're getting it all it. No. You're getting all your fur, that'll do. Right, did you enjoy that? Lovely. And back to reality. So one minute you have a lovely morning outside, pottering, and next you're back empty in bins. Biff, baff, buff. Back to being Cinderella. Oh, right, two minutes peace. So Ruby's gone off with a friend. They've gone on a bus to go out shopping. Bless her. So it was nice to spend the morning with her. We don't see her that much, as in spend a bit of time with her. So it was lovely to see her. Uh, <clears throat> right, so <clears throat> unfortunately... Uh, one of my people, not people, uh, when I say one of my neighbours, but they live further down the street, they probably live about four doors down, but her husband's just died and it's so sad and I, I know when you lose somebody it's so awful, so I thought I'd send her a sympathy card because even though I don't know her that well, I still talk to her and sometimes when somebody's died it's so nice to know that people are thinking of you, so I got this beautiful sympathy card and also it's a bit of a funny day today because um, in my memory it's four years ago today since my mum got diagnosed with breast cancer so I went with her to the actual appointment and the consultant got like her records out and said yeah I'm very sorry it is cancer and I will never forget it it, it like sends a chill through my body it's just like oh it's so horrible and I always remember the date because the 29th of March is one of my very old best friend's birthdays I've not seen her for years but I never forget her birthday you know because we were sort of growing up together um and her birthday we used to go out for tea and stuff so I always know the 29th of March is her birthday but sadly it's like been tinged by the memory of my mum being diagnosed with cancer so i will never ever forget that day it was really hot and sunny it was really weirdly warm um and yeah getting news like that but on the flip side my mum is still here bless her doing absolutely amazing she had a double mastectomy and she's just a fighter and she's so amazing so on the flip side if you are worried about something go and get it checked because my mum's proof that you can fight it and still be here so big hugs to my lovely mum bless her dun, 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 dun look at this so this is from uh easter last year lovely lorraine sent me this and then she did comment in the comment section yesterday and said she'd sent me an easter card and it hadn't arrived and she was a bit sad so lovely lorraine i've got my easter card from last year i saved it because it was so beautiful um and i thought i'll get it out again this year so thank you for reminding me about it anyway because i had forgotten so i've got a lovely easter tree on my microwave thank you my darling and i kept it for a whole year it's so beautiful wow can you guess what I'm doing now? I'm cutting carrots out. I've got so much fabric though, but a lot of it's like um, sort of flowering bright, which I'm not sure if I want flowering bright or whether I want neutral, but then they're only little presents, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I've got some real pretty stuff. That's nice. And I thought that'd be really cute. My mum loves bright stuff, so I thought oh, I'd do my mum a couple of like really flowery ones. And then for my neighbours and stuff, Right, so I did order some fluffy fabric off eBay. I didn't realise it had sparkly bits in it, but it has. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I've been messing about. I tried to make a little parsnip, but I don't think my leaves are quite big enough. Um, so it's a little bit big, this one as well, because obviously the fabric's thick, so it's made the little carrot parsnip thing bigger. And then I thought, I wonder if you could like do it even simpler. So basically, I've sewn a carrot shape, tied the top bit and then snipped the top of it with my pinking shears and made like a crazy carrot with no need for leaves uh, i actually like the like different varieties and when you kind of put them all together it's like really cute <laughs> i really love them oh we've got another one with a green bit i just love the randomness of them all and when they're all bunched together they're just so cute oh and then back to reality i suddenly realized i hadn't like doing my next solar washing i've got loads of washing to do so next job washing machine on again and my husband's in his element he says he don't want to do it but i think he's enjoying it really my patio is so green it's disgusting so he's just trying to clean it up right back upstairs so i've made another one so that's a little bunch of three so that's my mother-in-law's little ones done because she likes neutrally colors so but yeah that's nice and neutrally some more carrots so how many have we made three four five and then we like big fat fluffy ones so we've made six 
and sewing really does make your room a mess but never mind um i actually think them three look quite good together so i might give because these are my neighbors i thought i might give them um these three bunch together the trouble when you're crafting is when you have to stop and you realize you're covered in bits of fabric <laughs> all over my jumper um it's so annoying when you have to stop but it's 3 35 and i make my hubby a coffee um and then my tesco food shop and i'll come and then i'll have to put it away and then i'll have to get tea for everybody and it's like and then you don't get back up here it's such a shame it's very busy i don't know if you can see him because of the reflection of the glass um but it's a very busy chap out there hmm. 10 to 4 no sign of them so i think i'm gonna nip back upstairs and maybe so another one and just keep listening out for them Ooh, we've snuck another one out so that's one more let's try and do colourful for my little neighbour across the road right we now need to get this all put away right i finally got it all put away so i've ordered some of this because lovely luby said it's really nice so i'll try it later and let you know i'm sure it'll be lovely oh, my mother-in-law's been around she brought me some flowers for easter that's so lovely and my favorite flowers tulips so lovely and they're like a mixed bunch of colours, so nice and I've rustled my tea up. So if you're teasing out room like see a better bread with cooked chicken, barbecue, mozzarella and everything all mashed together and then you bung it in the oven for about, I don't know, about eight minutes. It's so tasty. And that ladies and gentlemen is my tea. Lots of salad, pop chips and my little see a better pizza thing I've made. Oh, delicious. And it's gone so dark. It must be chucking down again out there. Oh, look who's in the house. The bubble has entered the building. Little bubble. It's so cute. Oh, it's fascinating, isn't it? Look at his colours. So beautiful. Absolutely mesmerising. Ooh. Gosh, my tea was so nice. That sea of better bread from the co-op is absolutely beautiful. Like, I cannot recommend it enough. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, right, Winnie Bread. There you go. And last but not least, noisy little dollykins. Are you ready? Let's go. Where are you gone? <laughs> and you door shut, isn't it? You've left some... Nuts in there from breakfast. Right, there you go. And my patio looks a million times better. I was just looking, can you see that bird's nest in that tree there? That's a big bird's nest. It must be like crows or something. It's absolutely massive. And it's miles away. Look at the sunset. Right, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. So many thanks for joining me again today. I don't know what I'm what, what, what I don't know what I'm watching on TV yet tonight. I've not looked what's on tonight. Um, I did manage to catch up with The Apprentice last night and a bit of Dragon's Den, like a bit of Dragon's Den, it was very interesting. Um, yeah, so I hope there's something good on, but there probably won't be. T normal television is so boring. So, anyway, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, we've had a nail action. And then we've been busy sewing carrots, so I want to see how many I can make. So I can't wait to give them all out to everybody. It's lovely to give things, isn't it? So, if you do enjoy just a little bit of our life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is three fluffles. My website is down below my little Avon shops down below so I'll love you and leave you I'll see you tomorrow bye